Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an ultra lightweight mid bunk fifth wheel. And actually, this one's a 2020 leftover with an amazing sale price. This is the 2020 open range light model 335 MBH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the World's Toy Channel, giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I'm super excited to be taking a look at this Highland Ridge Open Range Light. Super excited to show you. Normally, I don't like to show you guys previous model years or leftovers, but when I saw that this one was still available at its price point, I knew we had to make a video on it. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. We're here in Jacksonville. Yep. And yeah, we're just getting the units that we normally can't get. So I'm super excited. And it's a lot cooler than yesterday, huh? Yes, it feels great out here, you guys. Awesome. Let's begin. Model is 335 MBH. But the actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 37 feet 8 inches. This is extremely light for a fifth wheel. The dry weight is 9,928 pounds. And Andre, do you know the pin weight? It is 1640. Perfect. Up front here, you can see that you do have some storage here. And what's really unique about this unit, those cutouts, it's actually prepped for a generator. Oh, that's Normally awesome. these mid profile fifth wheels don't have that option. Uh, you do have a nice, oh, I forgot about this up here. A fiberglass front cap right here with your LED lights and I like how the cap wraps all the way around and everything. Coming down the side, we do have a solar hookup right here if you do want to have a solar panel. And then here it is your propane tanks. Nice little propane tank. You have it on this side and the other side. And then check this out. Nice slam latch doors held up by a magnet. Now, not too much exterior storage, Andrea. Again, this is uh, a mid-profile fifth wheel, and this fifth wheel was designed to have a ton of storage inside, not necessarily on the outside. We do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Wow. Look how big and nice that awning is. And they do have that pinch over there, too. Yep, it does pinch one side or another. Check out these flipper component solid steps. I absolutely love these. I feel like these are essential for all towable units. They're just super awesome and nice. Does have the thermal package, four seasons. And then check that out. It's uh, your pet friendly thing for you to put your leash on it. Check out these tires, Andrea. These are the Castle Rock tires. ST225-75 R15. And you do have the Lippert component, Equiflex which is gonna make it a nice towing experience down the road. I actually don't know if this is a kitchen or a television. Oh, oh, it is an outside kitchen. Very, very nice. You have your fridge right here, this right there, and... Looks like we got a two burner cooktop. Yes, yes, very, And I did see a quick nice. connect under there for you guys if you wanna hook up a propane grill. Absolutely, and then right there is a um, sink, or not a sink, a for place the hookup. for... Yes. Yep. What's and then that? this... Oh. oh! Here's where you put your television. Cool. Mm. I like how that's all underneath the awning. Yes, very nice how it's all underneath the awning and everything coming around the back got another quick connect yep man double quick connect for double grills andrea we have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky right here spare tire spare tire carrier we do have a receiver hitch if you want to have a bike right there and then let's climb under here andrea and it is prepped for a backup camera yes it is prepped for a few around backup camera also if you notice right here you have the lipper component uh, electric stabilizing jacks as well outdoor shower and everything 50 amp motorhome 
Also, there is a ladder to get up on the one piece PVC roof. So uh, Highland Ridge Open Range, they use a PVC roof, which is awesome because it gives you a, it's either a 12 or a 15 year warranty. Very nice. Finishing up. Look at this. Okay, that's where the... That's where, you, oh, no, nope, it's over here. That is the gray water holding tank. Yep, right here is where you dump your black and gray tank right there. There's the levers. And then here's the other side of your storage. The water heater's right there. Yep, there's your water heater. And then here's two more propane tanks for a total of three. Awesome. Well, Andrea, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Be careful, don't hit your head there. They have these things parked tight together, huh? They sure do, like sardines in a can. <laughs> I Check it out. Okay, let's see. I really like the steps. All right. Okay, so I'm walking in. Very nice. What's here? Is this a bathroom? Mid oh bunk. no, that's a mid bunk. Threw me off. I'm used to seeing, you know, the little, uh, when it's open at the top. Uh -huh. Here's the bathroom and the master bedroom. Okay, I see they have done some different things with their interior for 2020. Yes. Okay. So let's begin right here. Back here in the living room area, we have a nice tri-fold sleeper sofa. This is very nice and comfortable. You got windows on all sides. They do slide up for cross ventilation. You got little tabletops on both sides. With a cabinet underneath. Yes. And you got electrical outlet right there. Uh-huh. And that is on both sides. And then we do have storage above. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. and then I'm not a fan right of there. the wood, but I, I like how much storage there is. What about is. the valances? I am not a fan of valances either. I like those valances. Now, we might have disagreed, but here's what I think we will agree on. I love this J-shaped lounge. This is a long, big sofa, and it's also your dinette area. This is kind of, I don't want to say exclusive to Highland Ridge Open Range, but this is kind of what they do i absolutely this is their love staple this. yes and especially for big families and everything absolutely it's one thing that i love that they do um i know there's a table that goes here as well yep. and i love all the windows in here i yes. i like all the extra sunlight yeah that comes in it's awesome i love how they do this i do believe that it does if you have to make a bed no nope. this this piece used to pull out in the middle yep but it doesn't it anymore. doesn't anymore okay nope. But it's okay because it does make a long bed. Oh or, yeah, true. You know, and you then you your... still have that one over there. Exactly. If you have any like NBA player size friends, they can oh, actually yeah. come with you now. Definitely great for entertaining. Yes. And then directly across, we have our TV entertainment center. Insignia. We got storage above. Furion sound bar and Andrea. We even got a fireplace in here. Also, one thing I do want to mention, if you look up at the AC units, what Highland Ridge uses, they do use the Whisper Quiet air conditioning units, and I love that. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is $60,818 MSRP. Sale price, because this is a 2020, and it has to go, and I can't believe it's still here. You ready? $39.95. Wow. That is 35% off, and that is a phenomenal sale price. But Andrea, as great as it is, I know General is motivated to sell this RV. These guys are, these guys are. <laughs> and I know if you call, you can do a little bit better than that. So here's what you do. Go down in the description below, click the link to General RV, click get lowest price or right now the virtual RV show price, and one of my team members is gonna reach out to you. The only thing you have to tell them is... You saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. And they will make sure you get a tiny bit better price than that. 
But again, y'all, this is the last one. It's the only one. Let's continue the video. Okay, so I gotta say, you guys, I am a big fan of Highland Ridge. Yes. Because of their quality yep. and the way they are built. But I like this solid surface countertop island. Uh -huh. We have a big rectangular sink with an extension. They even give you a cutting board. Very nice. You got a space here for your trash can. Uh huh. And a cabinet underneath the sink. Very nice. And then one more. Oh, with wow. drawers. drawers. Okay. I like drawers. Different. Uh -huh. I haven't seen that before. And I like the pantry area. Man, that is a very nice pantry. They did a good job with that. Also, they give you some more counter space over here. I love the solid surface countertop. You have another cabinet. It's cute that they gave you a window in here. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know why they didn't put anything. Oh, because of the kitchen outside. Yep. Uh, we got a microwave. Very nice. Three burner cooktop in uh, Furion. Uh-huh. With a glass cover. And then we got a Furion oven. Nice. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> we got a drawer under here for pots and pans. Uh huh. And they also give you a two-way refrigerator that runs off your propane and your shore power. Yes. And check Very out over nice. here if you didn't see this. Well, bag. hang on. There's something under there. Oh, there's a drawer. I bet you. Yep. Oh, that's, that's the kibble where station. The, the puppies. That's right. The puppers. Okay, Very guys. Nice. Over here, you do have a mirror and some uh, some coat racks here. For what we would need down here in Florida is a sweaters. Yeah, we, we don't <laughs> our, need no coat racks. Our sweaters. <laughs> that, that's going to be our beach towel rack. Yes. <laughs> and then I love this. Mid-profile unit with a And notice how I said at the top, normally I come in and I see a loft at the top, but we don't have that in here. And I like that because yes, of the headspace. Yes, exactly. I think this is tight, great. feel tight, confined, everything. I love this. You have a tri-fold sleeper sofa right here. You have a bunk bed up here, and because there's no loft, there is plenty of headspace. This does hold 250 pounds. Wow, and Matt, this does go up, right? So if you're not using it, yeah, yeah, that's great. It's awesome. And, and we right got a here. wardrobe mm -hmm. and two drawers. Very nice. Okay. And right there. And look, you got a little workstation right yep, here. Yeah, a little workstation. You can put your laptop. Look, they even have this where you can run your power cords through. That's there for a TV, I guess. Yep. And then right here is a little bit more storage. That's awesome. Cool. I actually love that. I like how they did that. Yes. And you know, so many times the loft is just unnecessary. And uh, not used a lot too. Right. What's this? Just some storage. Oh, okay. Very nice. Where you put your bars of gold, I guess. <laughs> And then let's check out this bathroom. Oh man, radius shower. Radius shower. You know how I feel about it. Uh, at least it's a big radius shower, y'all. I mean, it's got you guys. Some good height in there. Yeah, you guys know I don't like radius showers, but let me tell you, this is actually a pretty decent sized radius shower, I must say so myself. Okay, and so we got a medicine cabinet up here. Very nice. I do like that they give you a square sink. Okay. Got some counter space here. A little here. bit of extra counter right there. I like that Storage touch. Storage under here. And the toilet. It's now time for the toilet test. Let's see. We forgot this. Porcelain. Of course. Andrea, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. Matt, look at this. <laughs> So this is part of the bathroom as well? Not really. Okay, well, it kind of is. because It could be in. like the towels yeah, and everything. Yeah, so this would be like towels. Okay, and, and then, then this would be you your wardrobe. wardrobe. And you got a pocket door right here. Very so nice. So that will come to right here. Oh, yeah. So, and then so you have access from the bedroom exactly. to the living area. Over here in the bedroom, you do have a slight step up. No big deal for a shorter people. We have plenty of storage. I want to see that uh -huh. step up. You guys can see. So I'm walking up the step. Plenty of storage. Got a wardrobe there. Oh, they gave you nightstands with the drawer. That's yes. awesome. Yes. Okay. And, and then why don't you on... show these drawers? Okay, this is cute here. I would recommend to be very careful about the step though. Mm-hmm. You got three drawers. Look at this big one. Wow, very nice. Nice quality. Nice cabinetry. quality drawers. Yep, for sure. Over here, you have a place to mount your TV. Yep. You got your uh, 
coax and electrical outlet. And then we got more storage over here. Storage above the bed. Very nice. Other side, you got a window right here. Matt, is there storage under this queen size bed? I don't know. We'll find out. Of course. A little bit of storage. Oh, look, there's a my pillow. Aww. <laughs> my pillow, use promo code Matt's RV Reviews. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there is no cute. promo code for Matt's RV Reviews. Very nice. Awesome. No headboard in the back, but with a small bedroom, I kind of like that smooth indentation right there, which is going to make it nice and a little bit more airy and spacious for the bedroom area. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what is, should we do it first? Let's do three things we like about it. Perfect. I'm going to go first. Okay. The first thing I love about this fifth wheel is I like how there's no loft, especially in a mid bunk fifth wheel where I the ceiling agree. height's a little bit lower. It makes it feel roomy and spacious and the air conditioning units are actually ducted in here, which is going to be cool when somebody's in here. So that's one, two. Okay. So of course what I'm going to say is the entertainment sofa. Oh man. You stole my number three. iconic to Highland Ridge. Yes. It and is, different. It's different. You won't see this a lot. I love how they give you the chases here. Uh huh. And you, you have your tables that go here. So you can entertain more people or if you have big families. Well, since you stole mine, I'm going to steal yours. Okay. I like how there's no carpet in the living room. Absolutely. Area. You know, they, they, uh, Highland Ridge has been using this type of slide out system with the vinyl slide out and everything. Now, there is a little bit of carpet in the bedroom, but that's okay because that's a bedroom. At least it's not the living room area. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we hate about this fifth wheel. We dislike boom, about boom, this fifth boom. wheel. Boom, 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 hate, hate. Okay, dislike, shaking your <laughs> head no. Okay, dislike, you ready? First things first. I do not like the step up in this bed area. It just kind of is what it is. There's nothing you can do. Without the step up, you're not getting that slide out room there. I just see this as being a big tripping hazard. Why don't you stand up on that step up? Well, I'm fine. Oh. But if somebody's taller, I can see it being a big yes. tripping hazard for them and everything. Big, big time. So that's one, two. Guys, <laughs> I don't want to be mean. You're going to go. I know there is people that will like this. So I'm not a fan of the dark cabinetry. Okay. Um. It just, I don't know. I feel like it makes it look darker in here. So, yeah, I, I'm I not concur. a fan of that in the mountains. Okay, so that's two. And then my number three is outside. I do not like this outside kitchen setup at all. Not only that, Andrea. Here, feel this door. Like for real? Oh, it's a little heavy. That's heavy, right? So imagine they this. They should have the pistons here. They 100% should have the pistons. Yes. Cause imagine this. Somebody doesn't get it up there and it falls on their head. Imagine, back up some. Literally, imagine this, a gust of wind comes. Oh gosh. It's just a magnet. I'm freaking barbecuing right here. Oh gosh, Boom. you're right. Camping trip's over. <laughs> right. But it would be no, I mean, we probably could add pistons on. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, You 100% want to yes, add pistons. Okay. That's just smart and it makes sense. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Again, this is the only 2020. If you have any questions about it, feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell, or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Always. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Highland Ridge will be reading the comments, so we appreciate everybody's feedback. Um, if you guys haven't gotten a chance to join our Facebook Club Art Deco, bing! 
Make sure you take advantage of that. It's a great way to connect with Matt and I and also for you guys to talk to each other about anything RVing. Awesome. And Andrea, we, we didn't practice this. Uh, why don't you tell everybody that we are going up to Virginia in a few days? Yes, you guys. We will be going up to Virginia in a few days. Should we do like a dinner thing? Everybody leaves out. We I, I swear to God, it's the first time I'm mentioning it. That's why it. I'm like, huh? What's he talking about? Well, well, <laughs> maybe we should do like a meet and greet type of thing. Everybody leave down yes, in the comments below. Let us know do, what you thought. If you guys want to do a meet and greet while I'm there, I'll be there for like three days and Matt will be there for about a week. Yeah, but, but nobody well, wants to meet me. They all want to meet we, you. We, yeah. That's not true. We will be there uh, between... Don't tell you the dates. Oh, okay. Never Join mind. Club Art Deco Join to know. Join Club Art Deco on Facebook yes. and you will know exactly when. Yes, So perfect. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And again, finally, if you want pricing on this unit, go to generalrv.com, click get lowest price. Make sure you tell them you watch it on Matt's RV reviews so we can get you the best price in America. Absolutely. That way they will give you the Matt price. Burr, 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 burr. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.